Good morning everyone, my name is Tomislav Glidvik and in the third video of uh, the series of going from AutoCAD to Plant 3D we're going to look at laying out the 3D model. So in the previous two videos we've already done uh, PNIDs going from 2D PNIDs into Plant 3D PNIDs and now we're going to look at doing a plant layout. So we have our 2D layout here. Uh, we've got some pipe racks, we've got some structure, we've got some uh, tank centers and reboilers and compressors and whatever else is in this site. So this is just a plain old vanilla 2D file. Nothing special about it, everything's on layer 00, zero uh, and by layer so there's no trickery here. Now I've already created a structure folder because I'm going to start with my structure. So this will also depend on how many people you've got on the project and who's working on it and in which disciplines. So I'm just going to attach my 2D layout. And there's a couple ways of doing things here. So we can start laying out maybe some footings. As for settings, okay, so we can just start copying. And then we can start getting an idea on, on where the footings are going to be for our pipe rack. The other thing we can also do is putting in a grid. So the grid can be created from inside Plant 3D. We've got WCS, UCS or three points. So I'm just going to go create. Uh, you can see it'll place it in the corner here. So I'm just going to move it from where it was inserted into where it needs to sit. And then I'm going to rotate it. So there's a handy function in here within Plant 3D. I can pick up a grid and then stretch it to another known point. And then we don't have to worry about writing dimensions and working out what is going to go where. So even on here, if I go to right click and then go edit structure, I can even change my platform levels to be three. And we might put in some at 4,500, and then some at six, and then some at 7,500. And then change our labels. There we go, and there's our pipe rack. Now from that, we can go in and start creating our shapes. And then just use normal AutoCAD copy commands to copy them between all of our grid entities. So then even doing the different layers, levels, as for settings, UB, and then let's pick a 250, place it at the top center. And then same thing, we can go from end to end, end to end, and from end to end. And then we can do the same like we did before, is just copy that up. So it's going up three meters. And then for the intermediate levels, do the same thing. Remember, as for settings, let's make these 180s, top center. So same thing, end to end. copy these up three meters as well. So now with this pipe rack we can come in at this level and the pipe can go up to the next level or down to the next level. So we've got 1500 gap there that'll take into account any maybe elbows that we need to run in it. So you can see from here that this is just an easy way to get started with our, our pipe rack and any footings uh, and any other structural items within this uh, conversion process we're looking at.